So today I would like to prove the relationship between the local and global truncation error in an initial value problem, which we usually solve using the Euler method, Euler's method. So let's see, let's write the problem first. Uh, the problem would be like x prime t equals to lambda xt plus gt with like, let's say if we define the range of the, the problem would be from zero to a uh, specified final t. And the, actually for the sake of like, without the loss of generalization, we assume that like x zero equals one. And we assume that uh, lambda could be a complex number. Actually, it could be a real number, but we can have this like very general. And then like, if we, from this kind of problem, we could define like uh, x n plus one, which is the approximation of the x prime t to be uh, x n plus h uh, x prime. Yeah, I mean the approximation. Like if we assume this one to be f x, T and X N. We can make it to be like uh, X N plus H lambda X N plus H G T N. So it could be converted into one plus H lambda X N plus H G, T, N. And note that like for, if we consider this problem in a, from derive this problem from a Taylor series, uh, we can obtain X prime T N plus one equals to X, sorry, not X prime, just X. X T N plus h x prime t n plus a remainder term. And later, like uh, based on this expansion, we can get x t n plus h lambda lambda x t plus g h g t plus the remainder term. For the sake of like simplicity, we write this remainder term as like t n plus one, and like this is uh, actually the local truncation error. Yep, the local truncation error. And then how could we be able to solve this? The the find out the re relationship then. Wait a minute. Let me solve this. Okay, so if we observe, we define the, the, the error, the global error could be like, let's say EN plus one. Actually e, EN is better, but then like we try EN plus one first. This is the error between the XTN plus one and XN plus one. I hope that the order is correct for this. Yes, it's correct. So then we try, we, we will get this one plus H lambda X minus X T N minus X N minus the remaining part would be the H G T N minus H G T N. And then we still have the remainder term, which is Tn plus one. So now we get one plus H lambda En plus Tn plus one. And then from here, we can also get the fact that like, it could be a recursive formula, right? Recursive function. So if we start that, actually, actually, uh, it's better not to start from this way, but then this is like the big picture. If we start like from E1, which is the error from like 
x t1 minus x1 it should be t1 i suppose yeah t1 and then e2 we can finally start with this one plus h lambda times e one plus t two and so on right and we can arrive at this one e n one plus h lambda e n minus one plus t n so if we sum this up we would arrive uh hmm, no no we we shouldn't sum this up but then we can obtain the uh, like a formula like this, one plus h lambda, and then one plus h lambda e n minus two plus t n minus one. Yep. And then plus t n. And if we further expand it, uh, you'll you'll find like the formula would be Tn plus one plus h lambda Tn minus one plus one plus h lambda square Tn minus two, and so on which later on would arrive to one plus h lambda n minus one t one. For t zero, we ignore it because like it's actually the same, right? Between x zero and x t zero. So then we can actually uh, use this property, which is, which is, which is, which is, one plus h lambda is like uh, smaller than or equal to h e to the power of h lambda. Yep. But like bear in mind that we, we need like the h lambda to be positive here. So if this is the case, then we could arrive with uh mm, let me put it here. T n plus E H lambda T n minus one plus E H E this square T n minus two plus until E to the power of n minus one H lambda T one. And then we can, okay, then like we, we can actually then arrive with like, since the local truncation error we know is like, has a term of like, is in the form of OH, OH square in the Landau's notation. So we should get this form. Uh, a sum up to e to the power of n minus one h lambda of o h square. Mm, and then what to do? Wait, better to better if I, I write everything in like absolute value.
Okay, so. Um, you will see that these are n terms and like if we, we can also consider the inequality to be uh, n to the times e to the power of h lum. No. So h uh, n minus one times h is smaller than or equal to tf. So we can consider this one, right? And then it becomes like OH square. And bear in mind that if we can state this as OH square, which means that like there is a, uh, there is a certain C such that the, the value here is bounded by CH square. So we can get like N E T F lambda times C H square. Then we are able to obtain that like this is bounded by E T F times lambda times C times N H times H. So it becomes like E to the power of T F times lambda times C times TF times H. And this one is a constant. So it should be, it, it then would be like uh, kind of C H. So this one is a constant. then we are able to arrive at that like the global error would be an OH. Yeah, that's it.